There's a new king of the hill, highway and trail in the midsize SUV segment, the all new 2014 Jeep Cherokee. The legendary SUV is back and it's driving the future of design with its bold new look while still holding on to its traditional Jeep heritage. Hi everybody and welcome to Behind the Wheel. I'm Betty Newman. For the next several weeks, we'll be introducing you to the all new 2014 Jeep Cherokee. You can send in your questions now about the powertrain in the Jeep Cherokee on our live stream channel and via Twitter at hashtag Chrysler Live. The Cherokee is a prime example of how Jeep is raising the bar by redefining the midsize SUV segment. Whether on the road or on the trail, the Jeep Cherokee is on track to bring excitement to the midsize sport utility vehicle segment. The Cherokee delivers legendary Jeep 4x4 capability, improved fuel economy, superior on-road handling, and a cutting-edge revolutionary design. This evening, you'll get a preview of the 2014 Jeep Cherokee's class-leading 4x4 capabilities and powertrain. You'll also meet the engineer behind the Jeep Cherokee's three class-leading 4x4 systems. But right now, here are some of the firsts that are offered by the 2014 Jeep Cherokee. It's the first midsize SUV that offers three advanced 4x4 systems with one or two speed power transfer units. The Jeep Cherokee is the first SUV with nine speed automatic transmission. And on the inside, well, it's packed with cargo space and technology. Drivers are always focused on fuel economy these days, and the all-new Jeep Cherokee delivers. When it comes to filling up, the 2014 Jeep Cherokee features a vastly improved fuel economy over its predecessor of up to 31 miles per gallon on the highway. In March, the all-new Jeep Cherokee debuted at the 2013 New York Auto Show, and Mike Manley, president and CEO of the Jeep brand, explained Jeep's engineering focus. Now, of course, the performance and fuel efficiency equation begins with the powertrain. Setting the benchmark for the industry, the Cherokee is the first mid-size SUV to offer as standard a nine-speed automatic transmission right across the range. Now, the Trailhawk and Limited models you see here on stage with me will be joined in the lineup by Cherokee Sport and Cherokee Latitude. And all four models will start arriving in dealer showrooms in the third quarter. So that's the all-new Jeep Cherokee and the Cherokee Trailhawk. Whether you're cruising Park Avenue or navigating the challenging Hell's Revenge Trail in Moab, which, by the way, this vehicle has done, it is simply the most capable mid-size SUV on the planet. Joining me now is Rich Silbert. He's Assistant Chief Engineer of Driveline. That's quite an engineering accomplishment. Congratulations, Rich. Thank you, Betty. Tell me something now about um, the part that you played in this success story. Our role is to select the appropriate four-wheel drive system for the vehicle. And after that selection, we mature it to production, and then we have to verify that it meets all the performance criteria for the platform. Well, we did a little uh, walk around engineering video, engineering walk around video, I should say, with you earlier this week. And uh, let's show our viewers what you said. Please. Today, we're going to take a tour of the 2014 Jeep Cherokee four wheel drive system. This particular model shows the powertrain with a 3.2 liter V6 and then our nine-speed automatic transaxle. Power from the transaxle comes through to the power transfer unit, the distribution center of the four-wheel drive system. There's four modes to the PTU or power transfer unit. There's a two-wheel drive mode. This utilizes our rear axle disconnect. This provides maximum fuel efficiency when you don't need all-wheel drive. The second mode is four high. 
four high sends power to all four wheels, which is regulated front to rear through a fully variable wet clutch system. The third mode is four low. Four low is what true off-roaders and enthusiasts will enjoy. It's a true mechanical planetary gear reduction of 2.92 to one. There's also a neutral feature which enables a flat toe of this vehicle. Power to the rear axle flows down the prop shaft. It's a three-piece prop shaft traveling to the rear axle. Power to the rear axle is controlled and supplied by the rear drive module. It consists of several components, the first of which being a traditional hypoid gear set. The hypoid gear set transmits the torque that is determined by the infinitely variable wet clutch that is housed in the rear drive module. Power can then either be sent to the wheels or in four low mode will be multiplied by 2.92 to one by a mechanical planetary reduction. Power after that can either go to the wheels or in the active drive two lock system, we have a real mechanical locking differential. For true off-road enthusiasts, this gives the comfort and feeling of confidence that you'll be able to make it over some of the roughest terrain. And true off-road enthusiasts will really enjoy driving with the active drive lock. Okay, Rich, you've given us a really good look at how these 4x4 systems were conceived, designed, and functioned from an engineering standpoint. But now let's dig a little deeper and go into a customer perspective on these. Um, let me know from your standpoint what benefit these systems are to the customer. Well, with Jeep Active Drive, we focused and targeted fuel efficiency. We know going into the future, all wheel drive systems need to contribute to that overall fuel efficiency. But we had to keep the, the Jeep capability in mind. So that's why we've, we have these three offerings. We think we have a, the Jeep Cherokee will offer a four wheel drive system for every driver in every activity. When you say every driver, what, uh, what are we talking about here? People <laughs> who enjoy off-roading, obviously. Yeah, what we have is a, a layered approach. So the Active Drive 1 highlights this fuel efficiency, has a uh, rear axle disconnect. When, the, when it can disconnect and you don't need the confidence of all-wheel drive, the system doesn't send power to the rear, truly gives you the maximum efficiency for, for that situation. Active Drive 2 and Active Drive Lock are geared more towards the off-road crowd. So <clears throat> Active Drive 2 gives you the true low range, the 2.92 to 1 that we discuss. It also gives you neutral capability for flat tow, and it gives you a little higher ride height. Active Drive Lock capitalizes on Active Drive 2, but for the true off-road, it gives a locking rear differential. So I think for the, for the day to day four wheel drive on road experience, we have some offering. And as we get to the true off road, we have something at the other end of the scale. Well, how different are these new advanced systems than what's out there from other uh, mid size SUV manufacturers? The, the disconnecting rear axle is, is first to the market. We know there's a lot of interest and there's been a lot of investigation but the Jeep Cherokee will be the first with a true disconnecting rear axle. The low range in this kind of vehicle architecture is also first. Jeep Cherokee will be offering the first for this segment. And Active Drive Lock, the locking RDM is, again, the third big first for this segment. So I, th I think that there's, a lot to, there's a lot to offer. Okay, well, I've got a lot more questions, but let's <laughs> let our viewers weigh in right now, and uh, they have questions also. Um, what is a power transfer unit? That is one question that is being asked. <laughs> the power transfer unit, it, it's like the distribution center for the four wheel drive system. The system and the PTU power transfer unit specifically needs to divide the torque and then in low range, they both, the front and rear axle both multiply separately, which is a departure from historical systems and systems we have in some of our other Jeep offerings. Another one, what is a true, or why rather, is true low range important and what does range do? Low range is, 
very useful for people that are going off-road. And what we've seen in deep sand, in climbing rock, with a 2.92 to 1, and this is accomplished through a mechanical planetary reduction, we, contributes to the crawl ratio of up to 56 to 1. So this kind of, it gives you control, gives you, the driver has a, a direct connection to not only the car, but the terrain. And that's what gives us the confidence as a driver that you are connected and you can safely steer where you need to go. Something uh, just popped up about the nine speed automatic transmission now and, and the question is how does that improve fuel economy? The nine speed is, uh, has a lot of, has a very high ratio in many ratios that, that can be offered, right, being a nine speed. And coupled with the four wheel drive system, it allows the proper amount of torque, the proper amount of speed, depending on the situation of the vehicle. On road, we can distribute the torque coming from the transmission front to rear, and off road, we can multiply that torque and then also split it front to rear.